Hi everyone and welcome back for another video. We've come out to the woods today, if you can see. And what I decided that I'd do is some flint and steel fire lighting, but from a point of view angle, because often you're in front of me whenever I'm teaching skills rather than above me. And often that doesn't allow you to see exactly what I'm doing. So I figured it'd be a good video to make to help a few people out. So what we're doing is we're just walking over to camp now and then I'll get to it. So nice evening in the woods tonight. Really nice, really quiet. Really hoping this footage is coming out fairly well. Obviously I'm holding it selfie style so hopefully it's uh, pretty good. So what I've actually seen over here is, I um, don't know if you can see them all there, some raspberries. So, let me pop in there. Lovely they are. So we'll head over to camp and we'll get started. So guys, when we're looking for some fuel for our fire, we're actually looking up in the trees, not in the ground. And the place I'm in at the moment is a hazel coppice. So if you can see that all the way around, nice hazel coppice. And hazel is great because you often have these dead standing uh, twigs in the actual coppice itself. So what I'm looking for is things like this here. It's nice, dead standing, and it will crack fairly easy so you know it's dry so we're going to take some of this now and we'll get some of those down there as well this is all dead wood so it's not going to hurt the tree at all it's actually just clearing the tree out so we'll get some of those this one's actually dead Right, so I've got a nice handful of sticks here. So we're gonna go over to our camp setup and prep up. Okay guys, so we are over at the fire pit now. So what I like to do before I make any fire is just grade my sticks up so I know what's what. So I want some really thin twigs that are gonna burn very easily just beside. I then need something that's more pencil thickness here so get those like that then we need something finger thickness like so and then what we also need is we need a small bed of dried sticks on the bottom so that we're not, we're not taking any of the damp from the ground up into the bottom of the fire because if we do that, it's not going to burn very hot and we obviously need heat to actually get the fire going in the first place. So we really want the fire to be raised up off the ground because as you can see, this is quite damp at the moment. So that is something to bear in mind. Otherwise, you're going to end up with quite a cool base and your fire is quite likely to go out. So guys, I'll continue to prep up my firewood and then I'll bring you back. So guys, as you can see here, I've got my tinder pouch and my flint and steel kit. So in the flint and steel kit, you've all seen this before. Nice traditional striker. Some char cloth. And there should be a tiny piece of flint somewhere. 
there we go. Don't need a massive bit of flint, that'll do fine. So put everything else back in the pouch there. And then also what I carry with me in my tinder kit sometimes, just to make life easier, is I carry a bird's nest material already because we have had quite a bit of rain recently. So that should really help us get our fire going. Nice and simple kit, nothing too um, expensive, nothing too amazing, very simple, very easy to put together. So that's what we're using to get our fire going today. So before we actually light our fire, what I thought I'd do is give you a few tips on what I do when I'm using flint and steel to light fire. So we have our piece of steel here and we have our flint. Now the most important part is the flint. We need a nice piece of flint with sharp edges, no dulled patches or anything, because when we're actually striking our steel onto the flint, if we do have any dull pieces, any dull edges or anything, we ain't gonna get any sparks from it whatsoever and you'll just be sweating and blowing and it's gonna turn into a filled fire really. So nice sharp edges, doesn't really matter about the size of flint. I just carry small little shards. They're actually easier to get sharpened edges on them. Next thing is when we're actually striking, we need to flick our wrist slightly so that when we get across the edge, we actually get good sparks rather than a, a brute force kind of way of doing it. If you hit it too hard, all you'll do is break your flint, smash it into bits, and again, won't get many sparks at all. Now, the last little tip would be a small bit of um, tinder in your tinder bundle and then to also place the rest of your tinder on top of the flint like so. If you try and strike into the bundle, you are not gonna get any kind of sparks in there whatsoever. It's quite a needle in a haystack scenario. So without further ado guys, we'll go ahead and get our fire going. So we've placed our ember into the bundle now. I'm going to try and make sure you see this. There we have it. So there's our fire. And quickly get our twigs. Need those on top very quickly, nice and sparingly across the top, like so. And then we can start pretty quickly with our pencil thickness stuff. Like so. So guys, I really hope you got some good tips from this video. Fire's actually burnt down quite a lot now. I'm gonna make sure it burns down a little bit more and then we'll put it out and we'll head off for a walkabout. Saw some raspberries earlier, so I might go pick a few of those. I hope you, you got some good tips from this video. I did have a quick look back at the footage and I did see that some of it, you couldn't actually see all of what I was doing at uh, some of the points in time, but unfortunately with it being head cam, that's kind of the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Other than that, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the subscribe button up there all the links to all the social media and everything are down below and um if you want to go on my instagram anything like that give us a follow give us a like everything's appreciated 
other than that guys thank you for watching please take care and i'll see you on the next video